is going to be very intense, so you better take notes. The Hermit, you want to start your gameplay by opening up the map and connecting up to five cypher machines, because these connected cypher machines will slow down the game for the survivors immense. Not only do you share the decoding progress through these cypher machines, no, you will also lose some decoding progress on the survivor side between these cypher machines. That's absolutely fantastic. We have the first hit here right on the perfumer. Another thing that you have to mention with the connected cypher machines, as soon as the survivor is touching these connected cypher machines, they will get a positive charge. And this is what this game is all about when it comes to Hermit gameplay. Right here we can see Patient is taking it. Now look at the Prisoner and look at the Perfumer. Prisoner will touch a cypher machine that is connected first and then we will see Perfumer also touching a cypher machine that is positively charged or that is connected. And it gives them both the positive charge. What does that mean for us as Hunter? Well, if you hit a survivor that has a positive charge and another survivor has a positive charge as well, we can see it right here. Perfumer switching, by the way, right now has a negative charge. If you hit now that Patient, that patient will not go down, he will share the damage with the prisoner. And since it is 0.6 damage that he already has, he shares it with another 0.3 damage going to the prisoner, 0.3 damage going to the patient, and that is keeping him alive right here. But look at the perfumer, switch to a, ne uh, a negative charge, and now we have the terror shock on the patient who was just getting a negative charge with the teleport that we saw right here, with the teleport orb ability of the hunter. And since we had a terror shock on the patient, he was dealing damage to the perfumer as well because they were connected with their charge, with the negative charge and perfumer is down and the patient is on the chair. Always, always, always keep an eye on the charges on the survivors because if there is a survivor getting randomly a positive charge, you know that that survivor is on one of the cypher machines that is, you know, connected within the circuit. And now we can also see that, you know, usually what you want to do is this is a top hunter gameplay. This is not me playing. It's an absolutely fantastic gameplay that I get to um, analyze and that I get to talk about. But what you see is you don't really want to camp with that hunter unless you're getting pressured, right? Like here we can see you have um, the embalmer coming in, you have the perfumer on the right side who could potentially rescue. And you don't really want to camp, but you definitely want to secure that first survivor elimination. And with two survivors in the area, there is not a lot of decoding going on anyway, so you definitely can stay in the area. You always want to have your ability ready to give positive or negative charges to the survivors. And we can see Embarma is taking that hit right here, is getting out of this. Um, keep in mind, again, you don't really want to you don't really want to hit this right here. This is uh, something that you keep in mind. Uh, patient, if you would have hit that, Perfumer would have taken half the damage, which would leave the patient still alive, right? So not hitting that positive charge on the patient was actually playing out in the favor of the hunter right here because as the patient would now still be alive because he shared damage with the perfumer. So now having no charge, no um, positive charge on the patient was actually the good thing to do right here because now the first survivor is already out of the game. Again, keeping in mind perfumer has a positive charge can now change the charge. You can actually see a countdown next to a survivor as soon as they have a charge that um, tells you when they can change the charge. You can see the perfumer and the embalmer trying to get out of the area of the hunter. The um, hunter tries to give a positive charge right here and again this is splitting up the damage between perfumer and embalmer which is potentially a good thing for the survivors right now but perfumer is really having a tough time right now would potentially go down if there is another shared damage coming through. Embalmer is having the positive charge now look at it. Perfumer and Prisoner also have a positive charge which brings down the Perfumer but still lets the Embalmer run right here, run into the arms of the Hunter. But still, we just saw three survivors with a positive charge because they all touched Cypher Machines basically at the same time shortly before the Embalmer was taking a hit. And that again brought down the Perfumer. I really feel for the Perfumer because she never really took a hit but she's always taking the shared damage of her teammates by touching Cypher Machines. We now have the Embalmer right here with a negative charge and that Embalmer will go down, not share the damage with anyone else because nobody else is having a negative charge. This is, again, very, very crazy. You always have to keep an eye open on the survivors on the right side or if you're playing, obviously, on the, on the top right side because the charges are just so crucial. They are so important to know when to share the damage with other survivors or, you know, if you get the opportunity to bring someone down from a distance. Again, Perfumer already went down twice without actually getting hit just by the shared damage. We now have the Embalmer on the chair. We can see that um, Prisoner is still at full health, could potentially come in for a rescue. But they are focusing on the coding because again, not only can you pressure these survivors so much throughout the entire game, no, you also slow down the game with these 
connected cipher machines. You see that these cipher machines have some progress on them. Probably they haven't even been touched yet. Because again, you can push cipher progress from one cipher machine to another by just utilizing one cipher. We can now see they are up and running. They all have um, uh, full health, but again, connected through the positive charge. We have a stun coming in and both survivors are taking a little bit of damage right here. Perfumer is still having the positive charge. I told you, when you take a hit, that positive charge disappears. But obviously, if you are working on a Cypher machine, you immediately get that positive charge back. Perfumer, again, changed the positive charge to a negative charge, which is absolutely fine. We can uh, still see the Hunter right here giving the negative charge now to the Prisoner. And none of them can actually change the charge. So not only does the Prisoner go down right here, no, the Perfumer also took damage enough damage just go down to one hit now and we have the prisoner on the chair again positive charge on the perfumer because you know they are working on the cypher machine um, that is connected and we can now see that the circle was uh, interrupted the cypher machine that the perfumer probably worked on is interrupted so we don't push into other cypher machines but the rest comes through prisoner goes down right next to the chair and now the perfumer just has a really really tough time getting out of this this is just showing how scary and how strong this hunter is, how fast games can go for the hunter right here. If you know how to not only slow down the decoding progress, but also bring down the survivors by connecting, sharing damage amongst the survivors. You have to be careful because again, they could share damage to the point where a survivor could take an additional hit that just prolongs the kiting time. But if you time it right, if you spread out your charges the right way, you can really, really push pressure and uh, bring down these survivors quickly. So that is basically it. That is basically how we want to play the Hermit again. This is some top tier gameplay right here and I'm absolutely happy to see that top tier gameplay. We have a negative charge. Now with the positive charge we can just drag her back and that's it for the Perfumer right next to the rocket chair. I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. I hope you uh, start to understand how to use the Hermit a little bit more with that gameplay and I'm curious to hear your opinion so leave me a comment in the comment section below. Of course if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave me a fat like. I know this was kind of a fast video and it was a lot to take in but maybe rewatch some uh, situations that you have seen in this gameplay to understand it a little bit better because he is a scary hunter. I hope you all have a fantastic day. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Gaming Christie and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!